as part of a Heritage Lottery funded project, HDA in Cardiff has examined the riots of 1919 in Wales, looking wider at the issues globally and in America, etc. This is episode 25. The project is now finished. But as we move forward, we discovered more information about one of the people, one of the black men from Butte Town in Cardiff, who'd been arrested and went to jail as part of, of his reaction to the white mob. That young man's name was Ivor Gabriel Landsman. So this is 20, chapter 25. A black Welshman, the victim of the race riots in 1919, Ivor Gabriel Landsman. Now, during the 1919 race riots, black and minority people were attacked in Butte Town by mobs of white people. Much has been said about resentment after World War I, white working class men feeling that black foreigners had taken their jobs and their, their women. This resentment was actually encouraged by the print press, the police and the government. But the reality is that wasn't what it was about. It wasn't resentment about not having a job. The rioters, their leaders, none of them had fought in the war. None of them were affected by jobs on the docks that had been taken by, white, by, by the black merchant seamen. And most of them ended up going to prison for criminal offences, a lot of that being stealing and theft and violence. So these people attacked what we know as Butte Town. Others may call it Tiger Bay. However, the local black and minority population stood their ground and they fought so hard that the police admitted they had to stop the white mob getting into Butte Town, the bay, to avoid the bloodbath bath that could have occurred when the bay community defended itself. The black and minority merchant seamen were the primary target, but so were the white women that they were married to or had relationships with. Our research search shows that among these so-called foreigners who were actually British as subjects of the British Empire was a young man who was born in Cardiff, was part of the very earliest black families that were to change our Welsh dock cities. That young man was Ivor Gabriel Landsman. Now, 15 black and minority men were arrested by the police and taken to court for fighting back against the mob. 11 were found not guilty or no evidence was presented against them, but four men were found guilty of offences and sent to prison for varying terms. One of them was Iber Gabriel Landsman. He was aged 21 in 1919. He was a ship's cook, in actual fact, on a disability from the army but he was given a three-year prison sentence for shooting at mob members Sidney Jones, Jones, William Clark and James Coombs. Ivor Gabriel Lanton was born in Cardiff in 1899. His father, Henry Gabriel Lanton, was a merchant seaman, born in 1866 in the Dutch West Indies on the little island of St Eustatius, in English, that's St Eustace, which is northwest of St Kitts in the Leeward Isles. His mother was a local woman, Cardiff-born Sarah Landsman Nee Jones. She was born in 18, 1877, and Sarah and Henry married in 1897. In 1901, Sarah and her son Ivor, then aged two, were living in 16 Angelina Street. Henry was still at sea. Sarah was operating the home as a boarding house. She had five boarders, William Wilson, who was a merchant seaman, his wife and three children. By 1909, Henry and Sarah were shopkeepers, running a shop in 35 Peel Street and another in 35 West Church Street. 
1911, living in 35 Peel Street and running the general shop was Sarah, 12-year-old Ivor, 8-year-old Sarah Jane and 6-year-old Henry Alexander Landsman. Now young Ivor went to war and he joined up with the Labour Corps for World War I. But he was invalided out with a disability pension because of asthma and bronchitis in December 1917. The years that followed were hard for the Landsman family. In October 1918, era, less than a year after Ivor came home from war, his mother Sarah, then aged 41, died. And then in 1919, the riots happened. And clearly young Ivor Gabriel Landsman, a black man born in Butetown in 1899, still only 20 years old, despite having gone to war in the army, fought for his home, Butetown. He shot at the three rioters and went to prison for three years. While he was in prison in 1921, his sister Sarah Jane died, aged 18. One shop was gone. His father was still running a shop in 35 Peel Street, but by 1929 he was back at sea. This was after the youngest of Sarah's children, Henry Alexander Landsman, Ivor's younger brother, died at the age of 22 in 1927. In 1939, Ivor Gabriel Landsman and his wife were living in 2 Sophia Street, Butetown. His father then died in 1943 at the age of 68, still at sea, but back in the West Indies. Ivor himself died in 1945. We've not been able to trace Ivor's wife, so we do not know if he had children. What we do know is Ivor Gabriel Landsman was a black man born in Cardiff before, before many of the New Welsh that were to follow from the Caribbean. He had no Caribbean family connections arriving on the ships. Like so many Barbadians, Jamaicans, Somalis, etc. that were to follow, for him there would have been a few, if any, messages at all from a far away Dutch West Indies family. Born in Butetown 50 years before the Empire Windrush arrived, Ivor's story of hardship, citizenship and a determination to fight to be a black Welshman is a perfect example of why Butetown is central to the history and culture of Wales. In many ways it sums up why Welsh black and minority people are different in the way they see themselves to many in England because they are thought to be Welsh and that is how they see themselves. They are just a different kind of Wales. So that chapter was about Gabriel Landsman. Thank you for listening.